Hello, Star Wars Galaxy Hero players and Star Wars fans. This is Anna Teshwardo, and today I'm going to be talking about the Star Wars Rebels Season 4 trailer. But how I've already done a reaction video that's going to be up um, real soon. I, I hope it gets up before this one. If not, you know, whatever. Um, they'll be up around the same time. But I'm going to be doing my kind of reaction of what we might expect to see in the next six months that may come out of Star Wars Rebels. Uh, for maybe Imperial or New Factions or even um, Rebels. So, of course, obviously, since everyone's seen them from the Season 3 as well as the trailer for Season 4, there's no doubt about they'll eventually create a Saw Gerrera. They're probably just waiting to see some more action from them to kind of, you know, build its character from that, hopefully. So... <clears throat> which makes sense um so we're gonna kind of go i'm gonna kind of skim through um of course i keep getting on the blackest parts uh let's see so, so they're gonna have wolves uh the lothal wolves here because some of it shows here um love wolf run pick a path and all is done did for uh they face that atst so uh right now we're talking about over the mandalore itself what's the status of the imperial occupation so i'm hoping i'm, I'm really hoping for this that and within the next six months um a new speculation because what i did is i did a video um last month talking about speculations for the next up uh, four or five months um between now and december and Two factions, or three factions I thought of being reworked were, well, no, two of them were Bounty Hunter and Separatists. <clears throat> Excuse me. But another uh, prediction I may have is adding of uh, Mandalorians. That would be really amazing. Of course, also, we already have, like, four Mandalorians in the game. Gar Saxon and his Imperial Super Commando are Mandalorians, so hopefully they imp uh, rework them to actually have the Mandalorian tag. And support Mandalorians, <clears throat> so he would be um, leading Mandalorians or Imperials, even though he is an Imperial, but still Mandalorian. Um, we also have Sabine Wren; she's a Mandalorian. Who knows? She may get a leader tag just for Mandalorians and not against, not for the Phoenix. So she may have a dual purpose. Um, another Mandalorian, which I still consider him Mandalorian, is Boba Fett. He's not considered Mandalorian in, uh, the new canon yet, but he was, he did become Mandalore in, um, in Legends continuity, uh, like about 20 to 30 years after, uh, sometime between 20, 30, 15 to 30 years after Battle of Endor. So, yeah, um... Yeah, I'm hoping Mandalorians do come in. That's Mandalore's under complete lockdown. And this thing. Now, now I want to talk about this thing. This thing, uh, when I actually, you know, hit play, I'm going to, you'll see that it is Zap's Mandalorian. So if you've seen the trailer, go watch it. If not, you'll get kind of spoiled. But this thing evaporates the bo life body of the Mandalorians, leaves the armor just fall into the ground, which does link to a picture in, that Dave Filoni spoiled like months ago or whatever uh, about just Mandalorian armor just littering the ground <clears throat> and this thing evaporates so one is this is a speculation of Sabine's weapon that she helped the Empire build um, two also uh, how it may tie into um, Star Wars Rebels is she may be teamed up with Rebels and or Mandalorians to go and try to take one of these out and if you don't take it out in a certain amount of time or disable maybe the two sides in the bottom it may just evaporate your whole team kind of thing so i could see that being like one of those cool little events like maybe even a guild raid would be really insane to actually do um but you have to have like maybe like during one phase you have to have sabine or something but if not then you know it'd be an interesting raid to wear after so many times, when it gets to the, uh, um, gets to the, uh, enraged time of the, the, the raid, this would just evaporate the entire team, regardless if they were protected, um, 
And if they were stealth or anything, they would just wipe them out. Even if uh, Hermit Yoda was in play, it would just wipe it out. The abilities can't be evaded, stuff like that. So this one would be an interesting uh, a raid uh, boss for sure. So yeah, here we go. War's raging. It's time for you to prove your loyalty. Hold on one second. I guess I don't have my brightness up enough on my mobile device to see that. Not just to your family. So you look at all that. Mandalorians just rised up. They have some with and without helmets. Obviously, once they put their all helmets on, they could have some Mandalorian warriors joining the game. I, I hope that happens. They could be dark side or light side. I, I'm okay with them being kind of mixed between the two. Or unless they decide to do something really crazy and adding a third side, which is kind of a neutral side. But that means they would change quite a few different characters too. Like I could see Saw Gerrera not being dark or light, just being in the middle. Because he's kind of dark and light. But they, I don't think they'll do that though. I think they'll just keep dark and light and that's it. But the reason why I'm saying that is they could easily, the more characters they add to the game, they can split it between three different tabs in the game. Because in the game right now, we just have characters, <clears throat> and it's light, and inside there, that you can sort it between light and dark. So, but most likely, a majority of the Mandalorians are dark side, but, and I, I really personally would say that would be great, because Mandalorians are normally kind of dark side-ish anyways, because they like to fight, and they're warriors. But, you know, some of them could be light side. <clears throat> and also... Another thing to note is we need some more dark side characters for this game. They're all light. Three-fourths of them are light side, practically. There's so many more dark side than light side. Of course, we also need to stop adding rebels, even though I'm sure in the next six months they'll probably add Sagarera and a few other rebels, maybe the Partisans. Um, and maybe maybe or maybe not be okay with that if they you know make it to where the Partisans work together and not always work with another you know, they, they're best working together. Kind of like Phoenix is best working together outside of one or two characters. Um, so, yeah. To all of Mandalore. If you continue to allow this war to be fought on the Empire... So, it's kind of transitioning. It's turned. So, we got Thrawn. Um, let me go skip back for a quick second. What is that in the background? Oh, yeah, this is the battlefield where a lot of the Mandalorians died. We have Sabine. So, this one is a screenshot of Sabine, uh, Ezra. I like how Ezra has a Mandalorian jetpack, and Sabine has her little weird jetpack. I would have given her a regular Mandalorian jetpack. Um, we have... Oh, what's her name? Oh, I can't think of it. No, we, I can't think of the two right now. <laughs> I totally went blank ah, at this moment in time. But, you know, these two Mandalorians um, with Ezra and Sabine could probably be added into the game. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they add a new Sabine that may be a rebel tag, yes. But they all add her as a, a Mandalorian as well to do some different, uh, you know, have some abil different abilities because she has a jetpack. Maybe or maybe not. Um... Or at least for aesthetic look, they could change the current Sabine to have a jetpack. Um, Ren, Fowl Ren, or Ren Fowl, uh, something for the guy in the armor in blue, the Mandalorian in blue armor, um, I think. Because um, they could add him in, they could add his Starfighter in, so we have another Starfighter. Bo-Katan, there we go. There's Bo-Katan. I knew it. It was just right there on the tip of my tongue. But yeah, Bo-Katan... Could easily be added in as another Mandalorian. She was also seen having this um, dark saber in the last trailer, and so yeah, I think for a fact that <clears throat> she'll be added in. She may have the dark saber as well. On the Empire's terms, you are going. So obviously he could be added in. Also, the last scene with Thrawn and Death Troopers. Um, so I'm I'm assuming this is what may happen is if Thrawn survives after you know, the trilogy of, uh, the original trilogy, he could still have Death Troopers supporting him, which I'd be okay with that, you know. And if that's the case, they may have to add, change something with the Death Trooper unique to help support, be supported by Thrawn, because right now Thrawn doesn't support anything. Um, so, that's a... We are not ready for open war. See, there's some more Death Troopers. Whatever. Or, you know, walking through some... Smoke. We promise... 
thought that that was action. It is, in a way. <laughs> My people support. You can run Mon Mothma's arrow. So right here we see one of those pirate droids being stunned. I don't know if this is going to be a pirate or another um, enemy faction that's linked to the Empire. It looks like one of the pirates that's from one of the older seasons of Star Wars Rebels. Um, <clears throat> and his droids from I think season 2. And I wouldn't mind seeing the pirates added in. Because I, I did a video, um, another video talking about the Honda Onaka gang from Re uh, Clone Wars. So I wouldn't mind seeing another Honda Onaka added. It would add another dark side character, another scoundrel, maybe even another faction, like a pirate faction. Um, so that is an uh, option. Or do something that might actually matter. There's another U-wing blowing that up. So U-wings are definitely... <laughs> Tie defender is a risk. Honestly, having like a tie defender pilot wouldn't be too bad. Um, there's also a named pilot. Right offhand, I don't know his name. Um, from season three, I think, of Rebels, that piloted the the tie defender through the nebula. Um, having him come in, having another Imperial character come in, also being able to pilot the tie defender, giving us another Imperial ship would be great. Beck has been quite persuasive about his own project. Stardust. What about... There is the... So... So, here's another shot of, I think, part of... Because it looks like they're inside a building. I thought it was a crash scene. Um, so in my last video, I talked about this. I couldn't refine the, the screen, the, the, the clip, but... Uh, it looks like it's part of the Sabine weapon, but it looks like it's taken on Sabine and another female Mandalorian, maybe. Um, hopefully this is not a kill kill off, so we'll see if that is or not on Sabine. I hope it's not. I think it's just a weaker version or it doesn't have full power, so it's stunning them. What about the blockade and Admiral Thrawn? Are you confident your ship can get in and out undetected? We don't call it the ghost for nothing. Captured Captain Singular. So Rook. I like his eye now. <laughs> his eye looks kind of funny. Of course, it's shimmering out. It's in the process of shimmering out of the hologram. But Rook may come in. He may have some synergy with Thrawn. I'd be okay with that. Um, I don't see a problem with that. He'd also be Dark Side and Empire, and he's a Nugri. I don't think they'd make the Nugri species a, a faction, but here's a character that could be added in just to support Thrawn, as well as a Death Trooper. I also think um, having the uh, droids that Thrawn was using in Season 3 um, as a training droids, I could see those being used, uh, being added in as well, especially to have synergy with Thrawn, kind of have a Thrawn support team. It's not whether or not we fight. It's how we choose. Maybe we're choosing the wrong way. Um, we may or may not see some... I, I, I know it sounds weird, but I would like to see... The thing I would like to see more of Rebel-wise would be ships. And so maybe adding maybe a rebel pilot in and where he can mul pilot multiple ships but that one ship can only be in battle at the same time or at one time so you the rebel pilot's only piloting an a-wing versus a b-wing or something like that and so they could add like an a-wing pilot a b-wing pilot a b-wing gunner and something of that nature that would be fine um because they would be small simple rebel pilots they won't be like impactful to the game unless you want to make a um, a deal where you actually have to use pilots to get um, ship uh, ship building materials and ship droids. Kind of like the uh, um, current the current um, uh, scoundrel missions that you use, uh, the credit heist and stuff. When are you going to feel you've done enough for this rebellion? So, that chopper... 
feel you've done enough for this rebellion. I keep missing it. When are you going to feel no, I'm gonna kind of skip you've up. done enough for Sorry. this rebellion? So, we have a yellow ver So, we've had a black version of Chopper, and we've had a yellow version of Chopper. I don't know if this is disguised as another Imperial droid for a certain Imperial section, or it could be a pirate disguised droid. Um, but really, I would love to see... I, I know it sounds weird, but Chopper's had the most um, aesthetic designs. And I think it would be kind of cool to see um, a disguised Chopper, either the black one or this yellow one. Or maybe the disguised Chopper is... Um, has like maybe a feature on the on the character where you can choose between black or this yellow version. Because um, I have done a video also on um, aesthetic designs on characters where you can change like helmets and stuff. It was kind of a not not really reviewed uh, viewed episode, but I thought or not episode but video. And so yeah, that's that's an option. I think a disguised chopper. So it'd be adding another chopper. Yes, it'd be adding another rebel. But it'd be adding another Phoenix character, as well as it'd be adding another light side droid. So, or they could just, you know, have the aesthetic design look for just the regular chopper, where you can just choose between the three different looks. So, that's another option. Too. Guess I never really thought about it. So, I guess you really never thought about us. Don't move. Oh, I'm moving. So, Fen Rao. Okay, so yeah, it's Fen Rao. He's fighting against some Imperials, um, Super Commandos, and some Scout Troopers on bike. We will not stand. Who is this? And down. Being taken down. Yeah, I'm going to see if we can see a new character. Oh, uh, just some Imperial. I saw his Imperial logo really quickly, so... Some weird Imperial just getting his gun... Will not stand down. We will not be broken by fear. So, this one looks like some sort of... Trando... Broken by fear. Some Trandosian or Imperial with a whip. So, this would be a cool, interesting character where you actually have some sort of, like, um... Electrical whip or... Saber whip or whatever... But he looks like just more of an electrical whip. So he's probably one of those pirates. Uh, in that big satellite dish or something. But we are, we are strong. United by our courage. Now is our time. I wish I could see you. You could always see me. So I'm going to skip while I'm talking. So yeah, it'd be nice to see a TIE Defender added in. But yeah, they next swing. Whoa, I just you could always see me. Let's see if I can get it right there. I missed it, but yeah. So yeah, that is the, the trailer of Rebels that I want to talk about for um the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. You know, let me know what you guys think. What do you hope to see coming out of uh in the next six months, hopefully from Star Wars Rebels. Like, I know more Rebels would be more annoying, but maybe some Mandalorian, some more Imperial characters. Like, I, I, even from Territory Battles, I'd like to see the Imperial um, probe droid added in. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And you guys have a wonderful day, and thanks for watching.